Welcome back to another Telltale video. This time I'm starting yet another new author series. This time John Kessel, who is an, an author that I discovered back in the 1980s when I was reading the science fiction magazines back then. <clears throat> and I was really young. And uh, primarily his story, Another Orphan, which, which won... I forget if it was the Nebula or the Hugo. It won one of the big awards. And uh, I read it before it won the award. And it didn't surprise me that it was a winner. Because it was an amazing story. And I will get to that one. But first, going in order of publication. I dug up his very first short story. It was published in May of 1978. <clears throat> in a, a rather short-lived but very well respected magazine at the time called Galileo Magazine of Science and Fiction. And Kessel's first story has not been collected in any books, so the only way you get a hold of this story is to get a hold of a copy of this issue of Galileo. It's the only way you can read it. And and right away following his short story he has um, he did a comic strip with illustrator Terry Lee. And published that in a number of, of issues of Galileo in 1978. So he got started both writing short stories and doing comic strips. Which was which I thought was pretty cool. So John Kessel. <clears throat> you know, he got his start in 1978. He's an award-winning author. He's still alive today. He was born in on September 24th of 1950 in Buffalo, New York. And like, well, most of the authors from back then when I first got started reading, most of them have slowed down a lot in recent years. John Kessel, as far as I can tell, has not published anything since January of 2021. And he's only published a handful of stories couple of them are novels but only a, a you know less than 10 stories since 2010 so he has slowed down a lot I don't think you can really consider him to ever have been all that prolific of an author but he's a very literate science fiction author he his writing style is um really top-notch and he brings in a lot of literary references so you know I don't know if you would call him a great writer but I've always been impressed by his writing and the silver man although it's just a short story and not nearly as good as another orphan it still is a very good story so what is it about? You have a, a physics researcher. He's researching gravity waves and he's working late in the physics building at a university. And he sees a silver man in the hallway and chases after him, but the man disappears. So on another night, He's wondering if he's ever going to see this guy again or, or what that was about. Why he saw a silver man. What looked like some kind of alien. <clears throat> and he does tell other people about it, but other people, they don't see any silver man ever. They don't ever see anything strange, including the... Um, nighttime janitors staying late to finish up their jobs they don't see anybody else wandering around the physics building so only this one scientist seems to be seeing this character this man the story has kind of an ambiguous ending I won't detail it but just just so you know it you leave the story wondering was there a silver man or was this profet was this researcher going mad and so the story is very much a character study a psychological study of this researcher 
doesn't get super deep into the character. Okay, it's his first first story. Cut him some slack, but <clears throat> I think it does a a fairly good job with the characterization and with the development of what happens. So doesn't make it to a top tale, but I thought it was a, a good story, a good solid story, especially for a first effort. And that's all I got for that one. We will move on with John Kessel to his next story, which, again, you can only get in Galileo magazine, the September 78 issue, which I happen to have a copy of. I will be reading it and reporting on that in the near future sometime. Till then, join me for all my other videos and like us, subscribe to us, and come keep coming on back we got a lot more of this sort of content for you <laughs>